All right, it's official. Y'all loved my course on Yoni Massage and many of you rightfully asked, hey, what about us guys? And you're right, there is a male equivalent to the magical, mystical Yoni Massage and in this video, I'm gonna explain exactly how to do it. And if this is something that you'd like me to see a full course on, complete with demos, please, let me know in the comments. For women and people with vulvas, yoni massage can help them to experience orgasms with ease, to heal from painful sex, to experience new heights of pleasure. And for men, lingam massage can help you to last longer in bed, get and stay hard, and feel more connected to your raw, erotic, Power. Let's start with the terminology here. Just like yoni doesn't translate to vagina, lingam doesn't translate directly to penis. I mean, yoni essentially means sacred space in Sanskrit. And lingam also can be translated as wand or pillar of light because when you are erect, your wand is a translator of light and life into the world when that's how babies are made. And just like when we were talking about massaging yonis, this is a practice that is more about the journey than the destination. I mean, let's be real. We expect a lot from our genitals, men especially. If you're watching this channel, it's probably because you care a lot about how your genitals perform and you should subscribe if you do. That's okay, that's what we do here, that's what you're here for. But for this massage, I want you to consider that your dick is allowed to have the night off. He's allowed to kick back, relax, and receive. I mean, this is a massage after all. And by the way, this can be really difficult for men because dicks, for the most part, have been trained and conditioned to give, not to receive. Men have been told that they need to be hard, never soft, on, never off, open for sex, never closed. Let's let all of that go just for the time being and let your guy just be and receive for the remainder of this video and the massage itself. And this is what makes the lingam massage distinct from say, a hand job. A hand job is jacking with a goal in mind. For a lingam massage, orgasm and ejaculation could potentially happen, but that's not the point. The point is to experience sensations, possibly in a way that you have never before. I mean, even the most self-denying and stoic of men can appreciate the positive results of, say, a good shoulder massage, right? I believe that as long as we feel safe receiving touch, massages are just about as universally appreciated and desired as anything else. They're probably more popular than other things that I think almost all people agree upon, like that chocolate is awesome, right? I bet massages are far more popular than chocolate on a global level. And just like you can actually do yourself a whole lot of good by massaging your own shoulder, you can use the instructions here to give yourself a lingam massage, and I highly recommend that you do. This is one gift that you can seriously give to yourself over and over again. Trust me, I have given myself as many yoni massages as I have given to other people or as I have received from other folks. All of them are special, all of them are unique, all of them are beneficial for the body and the brain, heart, genital connection. And as with most things that we're borrowing from the realm of Tantra, lingam massage is a doorway, not just to physical, but also emotional and energetic release. It is about moving energy that's been stuck and static in the body. It's about reconnecting and reintegrating the receiver with his penis. It's about tapping into pleasure, power, emotion, a deeper sense of of intimacy, which is often unexplored in male sexuality, even the men who follow the advice on this channel. Let's get into it. How to give a lingam massage. Number one, begin by setting an intention. Either you or your partner has brought up the idea of lingam massage for some kind of a reason. So I invite you to have a conversation about what it is that you wanna create and why, not goals, intentions. For example, my intention is to experience pleasure, to feel connection, to have groundedness, to feel safe in my body. An intention is meant to be a guidepost, a desire. It has no attachment to it like a goal does. When we set a goal, we can either fail or succeed, et cetera, et cetera. An intention is really just a direction that we're aiming for. Setting an intention will help you take the pressure off of being hardness or orgasm focused. So get clear on what you're creating and then set aside about 90 minutes on your calendar. You're not gonna need all 90 minutes Minutes, but I just don't want you to be rushed and we certainly don't want you to be interrupted during this time. Step number two, the setup. Find a warm, inviting, comfortable space where you can relax 
undisturbed. Set the mood with some soft lighting, some candles, maybe some delightful scents, etc. Men are sensual creatures too, so don't skip out or assume because you're doing this for a man or you are a man that those sort of things that add to the ambiance, like music without any lyrics and beautiful sheets or something that's really soft and comfortable are not important. They're important for bodies, all bodies, no matter what genitals they have. Next, ensure that both you and your partner are comfortable and at ease. I mean, trust me, I'm a perfectionist with a lot of things, so I get the desire to be like, is everything right? But what's most important is that you feel like you're able to relax and give yourself permission to be a beginner at this. I guarantee that you are on one level, a beginner at Lingam Massage. That brings us to step three, the massage itself. You're going to want to have your massage product ready. And by that, I mean like something that is slick. I prefer oil. It typically has good staying power, makes it easy to glide across the body. Coconut oil that's in liquid form is great. If you watched my Yoni massage course, you got to see the difference between various forms of massage oil. If you are worried about staining from using oil, valid concern, put a towel or a blanket that you're good with getting oil stains on it under your partner to make sure to catch anything that slides off of them so that you don't have to be worried about that. Now that you've got your oil, go ahead and put that aside because we're not gonna use it just yet. We're gonna start the massage by taking a few deep breaths together. The giver is going to rest one hand on the recipient's heart and the other over his genitals. If you're both giver and receiver, put one hand over your heart and one hand over your genitals yourself. Taking a few deep breaths together, we're ready to start the massage. I personally like to start with a full body massage that slowly begins to integrate the penis. I think of it in three phases. Phase A, whole body, no genitals. Phase B, whole body with genitals. And phase C, just genitals. Yes, I do mean genitals because I'm not referring to just the shaft, just the penis itself. We're gonna massage the entire package. In fact, a great place to start the genital portion of the massage is just with the inner thighs and then beginning to incorporate the testicles. Each man is going to have specific preferences and tolerances, especially when it comes to touching their testicles. So it's best to go slow, communicate when massaging the sensitive area. Feel free to just ask, does that feel good? More pressure or less? Faster or slower? Questions that are A or B, not open-ended like what do you like about this or how could I improve? But do you want this or that? After you've made your way to the inner thighs and testicles, feel free to make your way around the mons and all of the area where pubic hair grows. And then you'll come to the base of the penis. You can add oil at any time after you've done the handhold. You might wanna add oil when you're doing the full body massage. It comes down to your individual preferences and his preferences. But if you haven't added oil yet, now is the time. Talk to him about like, does he like a lot of oil? Do you like a lot of oil? I didn't mention this earlier, make sure nobody's allergic to coconuts or whatever oil that you're using. Next up, it is important to remember, and I'm gonna probably remind you a thousand times if we make a course on this, hardness is not the most important factor. It's actually not a factor at all. He might get hard, he might not get hard. He might get hard and then the erection comes and goes. All of it is great. The massage is working no matter how hard or not hard the penis is. So just keep going exactly in the steps that I'm about to share with you. All right, now that we're on to the main course, the main lingam massage, I want you to think about a clock with 12 hours on it and think about the lingam or penis as the hand of the clock. So we're gonna point it in different directions is where we're headed with that. We're gonna start with the lingam pointing straight down towards his toe AKA six o'clock. We're gonna do our massage there, then we're gonna move it to three o'clock, then we're gonna move it to nine o'clock, and then we're gonna move it to facing straight up towards his belly button at 12 o'clock. There's four different sort of portions of this massage. You're going to do a similar series of hand movements at each of those different angles. This is gonna give you a holistic way of touching the penis. Each man's penis is gonna be slightly sensitive or less sensitive on each of the four sort of sides that we're gonna focus on and in each angle it's going to be a different sensation for him. It also is going to give you the opportunity to move his body and his flesh in each of these different directions which is going to help you to get the uh, power of the massage underneath the visible external part of the penis as well. Because remember the penis is anchored into the body by the pelvic floor and this is a great way to also affect that. At each of these four angles, 6 p.m., 3 p.m., 9 p.m., 
No, I guess it's, how do we know it's afternoon? It could be 9 a.m. At each of these four angles, six, three, nine, and 12, the giver of the massage is going to use their hands to gently caress, massage, pull, glide, twist, and press the lingam. Obviously we're on YouTube, so I can't give you the specific techniques. I just can't show you here. Trust me that the techniques matter less than the intention, the timing, checking in about speed and pressure. So don't put too, too much emphasis on like, it has to be right, it has to be perfect. You can use both hands to push, to glide, to gently twist, to pull. You can use your fingers and your thumbs. You can use your palms. Think about it like the same way you might approach a massage that you're giving to somebody's shoulder. You're gonna probably vary a few different techniques, give different parts of your hands involved. Repeat that on all four sides. Now we're gonna end at the 12 o'clock position. Again, penis facing up towards belly button. Once you get there, you're gonna give extra care and time to the skin on the bottom of the shaft. For most men, this is the most sensitive part of their penis. This is where they get the most pleasure and arousal from. One thing you can do is use your thumbs, circling technique along and up and down. You can use your thumbs to make circles on this part of the body. You can tap gently with fingers. You can pull the whole shaft, putting the palm of your hand on the bottom of the penis. Again, I can't show you these exact techniques on YouTube, but let me know in the comments if you wanna see me demonstrate this on a real person inside of a course. Even more important than just the specific techniques, again, is the connection, the energetic connection that you're making with the partner. So you're not just touching their body. I want you to think about this as if you are touching like their soul, their, their energy field. I want you to think about it like you are touching the very core of their sexuality, their eroticism. It is so much more about how you touch, what you're putting into your hands, like the love that you are touching with, than again, that you got the perfect technique with your thumbs. Again, the technique matters, but the way that you're touching matters the most. This is Tantra, right? And it's, it's borrowed from Tantra, it's not exactly. But in all Tantric practices, mind is secondary to touch and presence. Get out of your head, follow your instincts, communicate with your partner, learn how to read their body, both their verbal and nonverbal communications, and let them guide the massage. Let your intuitive sense of touch, sending like love through your hands, guide the massage. If you're subscribed to this channel, you've probably heard me say it a thousand times and you're gonna hear it at least one more. Remember to breathe. The more you breathe, the more you feel. That is a direct quote from one of my teachers, Joseph Kramer, who along with Annie Sprinkle, advanced the techniques that I am sharing with you today and put them into practice on a global stage with his sexological bodywork training. Number four, which is how do we complete the massage? At the end of the massage, your partner may be really aroused and he might want you to repeat some of those strokes or even a more classic like stroke to have him reach orgasm and ejaculation. If that's what you both are into at the end of the massage, great, but that is not the point and it is certainly not the only way to end the massage. So once you have massaged him at six, three, nine, and 12 o'clock, you can take your hands gently and slowly, keeping one hand on his genitals and one hand on his heart and together take several deep grounding breaths. You might find that your partner has some sort of release. He might laugh, he might cry, scream or moan. There, there can be a lot. If you give yourself permission to make sound, if you give yourself permission to take deep breaths and really be present in your body, this moment of stopping can be as powerful as any of the moments of moving and touching. I also want to invite you to remember that you can take as much time or as little time as you would like to to complete this whole practice. And you can revisit it as often as you'd like. So the massage that I just described, you could do in 30 minutes, you could do in 15, you could do in 60, you could do in 90. It is really about what you want to create and what works for both of you, what your tolerance is, what your comfort zones are. There's no wrong way to approach this massage. I would rather you try it a bunch of different ways, collect information, come back and try again and again and again and again. To get the most out of the massage, and this is true for the Yoni massage as well, whether that's lasting longer or getting and staying harder, you're going to want to practice this often and pair it with one of my courses on the subject. So 
If you want to last longer, check out my course, Come When You Want. If you want to get hard or stay hard, check out my course, Hard As You Want, and then pair those with the Lingam Massage for the quickest, most effective path to getting where you want to go. All right, I'm Caitlin B. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you love the Lingam Massage. And again, if you want the full course on it, let me know. Send me an email, make sure that you're on my email list. I love to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining me. And by the way, if you're watching this later and we did make the course, check in the link for the description because we will put it there. All right, I will see you here next week. Bye-bye. Thank you.